Hey guys, what's up? Today we got a video about uh, possible some palladium and silver from old school MLCTs. This is our MLCTs from an older board. This is the first type of MLCTs. If you look inside, I only have all type MLCTs. I removed all tantalum and silver capacitor. See this round one? This round one is a silver capacitor and uh, this is one, it's a tantalum. So this, inside this jar, we got only old school MLCTs. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put that on fire to burn that. In this little pot, aluminium pot. So you see, we got zero. And uh, when we add that MLCC, we had exactly 150 gram of MLCC. Got one capacitor inside, the one. Okay, now we're going to burn that. We'll put that on fire for an hour and uh, make him crispy for easy to crush. Okay. Put that on fire and uh, leave that for now. Okay. Okay guys, just a little safety note, always, always use your PPE mask when you do with the acid because uh, a lot of acid uh, have uh, a lot of fumes and uh, heavy metal inside the fumes so if you want to be safe, you always use mask, use gloves when you need and uh, safety, other safety equipment Fume food and other stuff. Okay. Hey guys, so we burned that MLCTs and uh, now, now if you see that it looks like coffee. You can grind that in a coffee machine or just you can smash it with anything you want. I just use hammer. That's splitting that metal plate and uh, crushing. Okay. So when we crush that to the powder, I'll be back and we will go to the next process with the dissolve all the metal in the nitric acid. Okay. Hey guys, see that? After some crushing, see all that cube? Look at that. Look at that. It's actually inside. It 
it's a normal MLCT. After reaction is done, I leave that solution for uh, 24 hours and uh, now I start to filter. You must use distillated water if you want to dilute that solution for easy filtering because if you use a tap water, they will drop some silver chloride. We don't want that, we want all silver in solution. guys after some time see that it's already start to settle this is red brick palladium and uh, 
let's see if we had some deposit yes we got it's very cool see that so now I leave that set all everything settled down then I filter that and we go to melt, okay? Okay guys, filtration is over and uh, this is our palladium a red brick palladium it looks like a lot, but when you burn that the actually a size is very very smaller it's okay I will burn that with a acetylene oxygen torch and uh, we will see how much we got palladium and from a previous previous step, how we, how much how much we got uh, silver from that old school MLTTs. Okay, guys. So it's time to measure our result. And here is our little two bead. We got this little bead of silver, and we got the, this nice little bead of palladium here after melting. So we'll see now. They actually look very similar uh, in the time when the palladium is discovered. Somebody will say that the same metal is silver, but uh, because it look actually the same, pretty similar, but they not. So let's see first how we got silver, how much we got silver, and we got pre. 3.8 gram of silver 3.8 gram of silver and we have 1.2 gram of palladium not bad yeah not bad so actually that old MLCC is all that type that all type MLCC is very good but uh, the problem is that you can find you cannot find them a lot on the board. So for this amount of that MLCC, I need over a year to collect them. Okay, but never mind. This will be a very good experiment, and uh, we got our silver, we got our palladium. So. So the next video when we process some else new material see around guys and uh, save scrap have fun make gold and uh, other metals cheers